What's the crack? What's the bleeding story? How are you all doing? It's Friday afternoon. We are on our way. Another match day vlog. It's Shells versus Dundalk. Um, one point separating the two teams. Um, and Dundalk are toured last. They're in eighth. Uh, Shells are in fifth. They have 13 points and Dundalk have 12 points. That's how tight the league is. It's brilliant league this season so far. Uh, Rovers, what are Rovers ahead of Shells, Zach? There are two points. Clear. Two points clear, is it? There you go. And uh, they're in what position are they in? Fourth. Fourth. You know what I mean? So this is how tight it is in the league. It's absolutely great. So um, we says, yeah, let's do the match Friday night. The boys have been good all week. So they deserved, they got their three, they got their match day tickets. So that's why we're rocking and rolling anymore, making sure they're good boys and then they can go, their three is every week to go to a match. So today, obviously, as we're saying, it's Shells v Dundalk. Gonna do an L match reaction, as in Zach, who are you going for? Who do you think will win? Win, lose, draw? Um, what are you saying, buddy? Uh, all, all actually say we draw, because we never score. Uh, yeah, when we're there, we never score. Yeah, I don't. Have we seen a shells goal? No, we never saw them. We've never actually yet. seen a shells goal. My God, yeah, so you know. We probably have the curse or something, giving them the curse. But, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, what, what, Jake? What do you think? What, what's, what's the score prediction, by the way? What score are you saying? Me. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's going to be nil nil. Nil nil. Yeah. yeah. Since we never score, like. Yeah. Fair enough, Jake. Excited to come along today. Yeah. Buzzing. Yeah, so what What are you thinking? What do you, who's going to win, Dundalk or Shelbourne? Same as that. Nil nil, draw! Whoa, okay, draw all around there. And Jake is usually very close with his results. I'm going to go, and it's a tight game. Dundalk have a good team as well. Um, but uh, no, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to go 2 1. I'm going to go 2 1. 2 1. I can see goals in it. I, 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 I have a feeling. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go 2-1. It'll be a good game. 2-1 to uh, Shells. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Last week we missed a good game. Um, Shamrock Rovers versus uh, Shells out in the Tallis Stadium. Uh, Shells were like Arsenal. They were winning 2-0. Lost the 2-0 lead. 2-2 it ended up. Absolutely great game from what I've been hearing. Obviously seeing the highlights and stuff like that. The atmosphere. Electric. You know, um, absolutely buzzing for that, for everyone that was there and enjoyed it. Flares going off, as they always are in the League of Ireland, which I think, you know what, I think it's great because they do be under control. No one has ever gotten hurt from the matches we've been to anyway. Um, you know, but do you agree with Flares? Do you think they're good at the matches? Uh, for, <clears throat> say, do you know the team, say that your team's winning. Yeah. Just throw the players on the pitch. But then, they, <laughs> nah, it's a good uh, tactic. You know, tactic to time waste. That you're, you're thinking of the the Tala. Remember the Tala Derry game? That was a, the, the Tala. Hear me in the Tala Stadium. Yeah. Um, Rovers versus Der Derry City yeah, it was a great just game. It yeah, they kept throwing it in, and, and when Derry went one 0 up, and they went, they ended up going on winning the game. You know what I mean? Now no one was hurt, as he says. Like we don't agree with that, but like you know. It looks good once they ever go under control. But anyway, that's enough talk about flares. Um, gonna let me see. Um, we're just on our way to the match here now. We're going down by the Coast Road, uh, Clontarf area. Beautiful, lovely evening. Absolutely great. Um, great evening for a game of football. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this game. It's been about two, three weeks since we were at a match. So yeah, buzzing for this one. So follow us along. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It's free. Thanks a million. Cheers. All right, so we've parked up. We're just walking down now, Richmond Road. Um, we just learned that um, the cameras, it's gonna be live on TV tonight. Um, so the boys are saying we'll be on TV again. Last time the TV crew were here, we were on it. The boys had our two uh, orange hats on, Kevin's hat. Um, so yeah, buzzing for it. We're about five minutes away from the ground, just sort of, not even that. Just walking down, it's a nice sunny evening. Um, so great game, great day for the for the game of football. You know what I mean. I hope the Dundalk fans, which they will, but like I hope there's a good few of them here, make the bit of an atmosphere and you know give it give it give it all back to the to the shells supporter as well, which is always good to see. You know, 
But um, yeah, I'm expecting the crowd to be fairly, like you know, be, uh, for it to be busy tonight. But we'll see. We'll do uh, we'll do an L sc scope when we get into the ground. Keep watching, yeah. Shane Farley got sent off there and I'm not sure what it was for but it looked like it was for discipline um, but yeah shells are down to 10 men Dundalk as you can see are after missing a penalty um, I'm not sure what Shane Farley done but um, yeah he got sent off now the atmosphere is after kicking off as you can see that's what it's about it's about football boys Boys and girls, this is what it's about. This is the Irish League for you. It's, there's no, there's no um, prima donnas here falling to the ground or anything like that. Damien Duff was very relaxed. I don't know if you can see him up there. There he is there. But he's, uh, he's a bit relaxed. I thought he would have went bleeding bananas when Shane Farley got sent off. But the referee is having a nightmare. And he's getting called over now. As I say, uh, Damien Duff gets a yellow card. This ref, I think he thinks it's all about him. But um, let's hope he gets it together and doesn't lose lose the game altogether. Like, you know, it's not about him. So the second half has just started. Uh, it's nil-nil. Uh, just got confirmation that the Shelbourne player that got sent off actually headbutted the other player. So, yeah, deservedly so red card silly silly play by the Shelbourne player Farley um, and as it says um, you see seen there Damien Duff got the yellow card but Dundalk in fairness they have been all over Shelbourne it looks like they'll be lucky to get out of here with a draw um, it's been all Dundalk at the minute but let's see what the second half has to bring should be one or two yellow cards to Dundalk he didn't give and even Shelbourne but yeah it's all about the ref today here we go Shell's Penno Before that, about two minutes before that, Shells were straight through on goal. The player took too much out of the ball and just hit it straight at the keeper. But yeah, Penno still think Dundalk. It's unfair on Dundalk, but this is football. Dundalk just got the equaliser. Absolutely belter of a goal. Put in bottom right hand corner. Game on now. Can Shells hold it? Uh, it's about 10 minutes left. Right, so the game ended 1-1 and um, Shells obviously as you know had a player sent off um, deservedly so um, Shelbourne got a lucky well like you know they, they got the pen out probably deservedly so they didn't deserve to go 1-0 up I thought Dundalk were the better team in the first half and probably for the majority of the second half as well but football is a strange game as we all know um, Shelbourne get the goal 1-0 held it for about 15-20 minutes roughly around that 
Dundalk then gets the gets their goal. As I said, deservedly so. It was a great goal, great finish actually. He put it inside on his right foot and put it in bottom corner. Excellent finish. Um, shells then were holding out the last ten whatever minutes of the game, um, holding out for the draw. They got the draw, you know, down to ten men. You're at home. I was hoping at one or two stages they would have sort of the keeper would have released a quick to try and get the counter and um, try and get a quick goal, a sneaky goal. Didn't do that, and uh, right, fair enough. But I, I'm a sort of a just get at them, go for it. But I suppose cool heads thinking, yeah, look, we're down to ten men. Dundalk have been all over us. Let's just get out of here with the point, and he did. Like you know, shells. I'd say uh, at the end of the day would be the happier team to get away with with the one one. Um, you says you guys says nil nil. You just went for the draw. You just got the result right. Well, the 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 prediction of the draw right. Um, what did you make of the game overall, Zach? Uh, yeah, the game was good, but um, we should have won it. That ref, like, he was all over yeah. the place. Like, he's he shouldn't be a ref. Like, no, seriously, he was definitely on their team. He was giving them all the frees. And at the uh, end of half time, at least, like, oh, when yeah. he hit him in the private part, at least give him. Like book him or something like that's not fair. Yeah, he didn't even book him, and he just said, "Right, half time, just go in." What? That's not fair. Like so. <laughs> but yeah, the match was good out of all of it. Yeah. yeah, Jake, what are you saying? What did you think of the match? Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you think it was a draw? You said it was a draw. You're always right with your your results. You said it was a draw. And um, did you think Shelburne were good or bad, or did you think Dundalk were good? Shelbourne good and the, are you going to look forward to the next match yeah. yeah there we go thanks a million everyone for checking out our vlog please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new around here um, thanks a million again for checking it out take care and remember we do we do these vlogs a lot so keep an eye out for them take care and God bless you all